With AX, in comparison to DeepL, you see that we have higher costs, several languages for about 800 euros. The initial effort is higher. It takes more time to work with AX than to work merely with DeepL, but it is easier to maintain products and to add new items. Language skills are required and you have error-free text at the end of the day. DeepL, it is cheap as regards new products, you have to add them manually, but no language skills are required in general. And we have no quality text here, and there were some, some of these texts contained um, translation errors. So we wanted to know whether our consumers read our texts and what they find interesting and how they experience our texts. With DeepL, we just translated the text. We couldn't change the format of the text. All texts that were translated with AX semantics were formatted perfectly. We could adapt the heading and different paragraphs, and the general layout was better. Just bear in mind that we have thousands of products. We don't have the time to write all the texts manually. And because of that, it was vital for us to have the same performance with the old text that was manually written and the new text that was automatically created. And this is the result. No better variant was found. So the new texts were not better, but also not worse than the old texts. Then we used analytics. We looked at the conversion rate. So what exactly was bought? And we see that the variant one has a higher conversion rate than the previous group. This means that more products were sold with the new text. So what is the bottom line? We saved time. No one needs to write these texts manually anymore. And for this reason, this was a huge success by just changing the syntax a little bit by individually adapting our texts. And we have the same performance and our customers are as satisfied as they were before.